everybody, welcome back to my channel. My lips feel super dry, so I'm gonna put on some of this brand new Nude Sticks Hydropeptide Lip Butter. This literally tastes like Kinder Egg. I don't know if you've got Kinder Egg in the US, um, but in the UK, the smell of this and the taste of it is like Kinder Egg, I love it. It's so hydrating and gives a beautiful glossy finish, but it's not sticky. So a week ago today, I had my face lasered here. You remember I was telling you that my pigmentation was coming up. Um, I had a little bit here, quite a lot here, and then like some patches here, and it was really bothering me. I had one session and oh, I'm so happy. It looks so much better. I'll insert a before and after shot and you can see. Um, there is still a faint shadow, but it has only been a week. But this is how it looked after four days. The laser itself shatters the pigment and the body carries it away that's underneath, but the surface of it, like dead skin, just comes away when you wash your skin, um, and then it just leaves behind fresh skin. Oh my God, I'm so happy with it. If you're new to my channel, I suffer with melasma, which is a hormonal version of hyperpigmentation, which you can get from sun damage, but you can also get it with hormones, which is really frustrating. So although it's not curable, it's definitely manageable. So when you get it on the surface like that, it's a really good idea to have it lasered so that you're always taking away the surface because the deeper it gets the harder it is to remove so some people will always say oh but if you have laser it comes back yes it comes back it's melasma that's what it does but the longer you leave it and don't treat it the deeper it gets the more intense it looks on your skin so i had it done at the pulse light clinic it was kindly gifted to me i do have a discount code and it is phenomenal you should have it done if you have sun damage or you have pigmentation from melasma like i've got shona scott for 20 percent off you can also use that code for 25 percent off laser hair removal as well i just wanted to share it with you it's not sponsored and um, i'm just so happy with it because you know i'm always complaining about it of recent months it's lovely because just a light layer of foundation covers it now that actually leads me on to share this which i received yesterday yesterday again not sponsored but i love vichy Dunner blend if you followed me for years you'll know i've shared a lot of their products before especially for like camouflage purposes these are the color correctors this is a really good one so it's a peachy tone which covers dark spots so if you've got sun damage on your skin then this is a really good one if you have dark circles or bluish veins this yellow one is really good this one is great if you have sallow skin. The purple tones really help to neutralize the yellow. And then they also do the classic green, which is really good for redness in the skin. So although I'm not using these today, I just wanted to share them with you because I thought they were brilliant. On the skin, I'm gonna start with this Cosmetics A La Carte Rose Dew Primer. This is beautiful. It's such a lovely primer. It contains hyaluronic acid. This is a really good one for smoothing your skin. It's really hydrating. I don't know if you can see, it's extremely lightweight, which I love. And it smells like rose, and I don't normally like rose. When I went to the Cosmetics A La Carte Boutique recently to do a bespoke lipstick for my wedding, which I have here. I said to Laura, who's one of their makeup artists, that I really don't like the smell of rose, but that this one is so lovely. Um, and she explained why there's different types of typical rose scents um, and why this one is a lot softer and it's so much more pleasant, which is really nice. And this primer is an award-winning primer. I love that it's super lightweight. It won't break you out. It doesn't have that silicone-y feel, but it really does help to make the makeup last all day. And I didn't actually realise that Alicarte Cosmetics has been going for over 40 years. It's actually quite a new brand to me, but it's been around for ages and their boutique is beautiful. They do what's called like a blending lipstick session. They also do the same for foundations and concealers. So if there's something that you are longing for in a foundation that you just can't seem to find in a brand, go check them out because they can make it more specific to how you want it. Same as if there is a lipstick that you absolutely love that's been discontinued, but you've got a small amount of it, take it to them and they will be able to replicate it for you. Just pinned my fringe out of the way. I've done a lot of quite dewy looks recently, so I thought I would use a foundation that was more of a cream to powder. It's also by Cosmetics A La Carte. This is their beautiful packaging. And when I was at the boutique the other day, they asked if I'd actually tried this and I received this a while back. However, um, it was a bit too dark for me. It comes with a little applicator sponge underneath. And this is the cream. I'm gonna use a beauty blender. It kind of matches my top. I've squeezed all the excess water out of this so it almost feels kind of dry, but it is slightly damp. This is an oil-free formula and it is a cream to powder. It is suitable for everybody. And it's kind of like a medium, but totally buildable to full coverage foundation. And as you can see, when it goes on, it really is a lovely natural radiant finish. 
it has really good pigment in it so that you can build it up to use it as a concealer as well. Laura the Makeup Artist said this one is a good one in humidity and it's really good. It doesn't slip and slide even though it is a cream on initial application. Look, you can't even see my pigmentation. I'm so, so happy that I've had that removed. Look at the difference. And that is just one really nice light layout with my sponge. It's beautiful. And this comes in 18 shades. Bearing in mind it hasn't set down yet. Um, how beautifully gorgeous the skin looks. It's so flawless. It will probably look a little bit more shinier where I am in the studio because I've got such bright lights. I've got two LED lights, a ring light and a mirror light right in front of me. So always take my base with a pinch of salt in terms of the shine because it's always going to look so much shinier in studio lighting. I did get the concealer out to use. Um, but I don't think I need it. It's got such amazing coverage. Um, I'm not one for layering too many products. So I think I'm just going to go with it as it is because it's covered everything that I feel like needs covering. I should also mention that Cosmetics a la carte also ship worldwide. So if you are from the US and you want to try the products, I will link them below for you and you can use my discount code. This is not sponsored by the way, I just really want to try a lot more of their products. I'm going to give a go the Silk Radiance Super Fine Powder. This is again their beautiful packaging. What's nice about this one is it does come with a little mirror. The shade I have is vanilla and I'm going to use my Beauty Blender on the opposite side just to press that into the skin. I just feel like this gives a more natural finish. So I'm going to press that only through the T section of the face for now and then I will see at the end if I need to sit anywhere else. Before you set your under eyes, just take a little cotton bud and get rid of any crease in and this will just absorb a little bit of the excess product that's sitting there. It will prevent from further creasing. So just look up and really gently. So you're not removing the product from the skin, you're just kind of swiping the excess product. Then look up and just press that underneath the eyes. That is such a lovely base. So I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera and then I'm going to zoom in, do my eyes and then we're going to come back and finish the base. The palette I'm going to be using today is by Charlotte Tilbury. This was previously known as the Dolce Vita palette but it's now called the Bella Sophia palette. Then on my MAC 239 flat shader brush I'm taking the prime shade over the mobile lid. I'm also placing some of that on the brow bone and on the inner corner of the eye using a small detailer brush. Then on my Zoeva 228 blending brush, I'm dipping that into the enhanced shade in the palette, which is this beautiful kind of warm copper tone. And I'm putting the actual pointed tip of the brush into the socket line and just working that backwards and forwards. And because it is tapered, the bristles around the tapered point are gonna do all the blending for you. These eyeshadows are so, so soft. They just make life really easy when it comes to creating a smoky eye. On the outer corner, I have blended the colour down coming onto the outer third of the mobile lid, but before I actually place any more colour there, I'm going in with a clean blending brush just to soften the seams. And you can see now, after a few swipes of a clean blending brush, we have a beautiful gradient between the eyeshadow and the brow bone. Here I'm taking a little bit more colour onto the outer third of the mobile lid, and on a detailer brush, I'm now going to line the top lash line using the same shade. So keeping it slightly thicker on the outer edge and coming slightly thinner as we get to the inner corner. This is the foundation colour because we're going to be going in with the smoke shade now over the top just to enhance it and make it a little bit more defined than the colour that we've got running through the socket. But we want that warmth underneath so that's why we're layering the two shades. So use the very tip of your brush when it comes to the inner corner because you'll have a little bit more control than trying to use the flat side of the brush. To further enhance the top lash line, I'm going in with this Soft Cold Pencil by Zoeva in the shade Black to Earth. Using a pointy tip, I'm keeping this really close to the root of the eyelashes. It does not need to be perfect. You just want a little bit of the colour on the skin. So then we can go in with a small brush dipped into that smoke shade and then further blend this out. I'm also going to use what's left on the bristles to pull the colour out on the outer edge to create a very soft, small wing. But this is totally optional to your eye shape. 
Notice how even when we get towards the inner corner of the eye, I'm still using the point of the brush, the very top section. I'm not using the sides of the bristles. So you want to rotate your arm as you get towards the inner corner so that you've always got the pointed edge of your bristles working to do the blending. Here I'm going to do a foundation layer of eyeliner using brown, but then I'll be going in with a black one, which again is completely optional. On that small detailer brush that I used to do the blending, I'm going in with the enhanced shade underneath the lower eyelashes, and then I'm just adding a very light layer of that black coal pencil by Zoeva along the waterline. Next I'm taking some of these individual cluster lashes that I got from AliExpress. I must have had these about two years and then I found them during the move. And I have these in a variety of different sizes. I'm placing the longest ones here where you can see now, so kind of like halfway towards the outer half of the eye. But I always put smaller ones on the very outer corner, otherwise it makes my eyes look heavy. And then I've got some smaller ones on the inner corner of the eye. And then I just like to seal them in place with a layer of mascara on my natural lashes. The mascara I'm using is the same one I've used for the last few tutorials. This one is by Gucci. To bronze the skin, I'm going to use this Hourglass palette, which has cream-based products in it. So this is a trio, it's the Sunset one, and I'm going to use the bronzer shade here. I'm going to use that on my It Cosmetics brush, as you know, I absolutely love these. So this is going in to the hollow of the cheek, but slightly higher, so we're going to use it to bronze. So it's kind of on the bottom half of the actual cheekbone. always place your brush at the back part of your cheekbone first this is where you want your initial lay down you want that part to be the darkest area and then use what's left on the bristles to stipple forward creams are so easy to work with as well and they're flattering for all age groups because they are a cream they also add this beautiful kind of natural glow if you've got a slightly smaller forehead, you might want to just really keep this to the outer corners or really close to the root of your hair because you do want some warmth up there. But remember, the warmer you go or the more intense you go, the smaller your forehead's going to look. So ideal if you've got a large forehead, not so ideal with a smaller forehead. So use a stipple motion. And that's going to give you a really beautiful blend. I'm just going to use what's left on the bristles to put a little bit on my chin because that's where I would get colour. I'm also going to use the coral shade as blush. So I've got two of these. One I use for blush, one for foundation, and then both of these can be used for anything. You can then go back in with the one that you would use for foundation and then stipple over the front area of your face so it's softer. And while I'm using the palette, I might as well go in with the highlighter shade. I'm going to use the bottom of the sponge. So I'm going to stipple off most of it so it's only a light amount and this is going on the tops of the cheekbones. I like to do it with a sponge because it just gives a beautiful softer finish so you kind of don't really have any seams. I love that, it's like a candlelight glow. I've added the tiniest amount of the Milk Cosmetics uh, headbang just around my lip line and I'm going to put on my own lipstick. So this lipstick called Shona um, is two parts peach, one part pink um, because you know I love peachy tones but the peachy tones alone just wasn't enough. I feel like I needed a hint of pink. I've also made it really balmy because I like more of a balm gloss. Um, I don't like matte finishes. So, so I didn't design it to be worn with a lip liner as such because I don't really like lined lips on me. However, with this eye makeup, it just needs a little something because it is so natural. I feel like it needs it with this look. However, I will be wearing it without a lip liner most likely on my wedding day because I just prefer something really natural. And it's one of those colors that kind of looks different with different makeup. So having tried it with just my daily makeup, which is next to nothing, um, it looks a bit more peachy and a bit more vibrant. Whereas with this makeup, it looks a bit more natural and a bit more muted. So it works really, really well. I love it. It's the perfect nude with a look like this for me whereas it's the perfect kind of 
punchy peach for a natural look. So yeah, I love it. What do you guys think? And if you want to try making your own lipstick, you can book in with them to do the lipstick blending session. I hope you guys love this makeup look. I adore it. I think it's so soft and so pretty. So let me know what you thought in the comment section below. All the products I've used will be listed and linked in the description bar as will the discount codes. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me outside of YouTube over on Instagram. That's where I share things like my own lipstick before you guys will get to see it over here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.